Welcome, my peeps, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It would be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart. My peeps, my peoples. Peep Squad is in a building, baby. We're going to the top. We're going to bring others with us. So please become a part of the notification squad. Peep Squad, hit that notification bell. on each and every time I drop a video and be the first one to comment, baby, and tell me what's on your mind. So let's talk about it. Let's get into it. Let's talk about Real Housewives of Atlanta, season 12, episode 2. It did not go down as it was supposed to because Eva is getting called out for making all these remarks about nappy heads and calling her cast members nappy heads. People are out here with petitions to get rid of Eva and take her off of Real Housewives of Atlanta. They feel like somebody else deserves her spot and she don't deserve her spot. I was like, ooh, have mercy. And there's actually two petitions against Eva Marcel. They want her off and they're also giving examples of why they feel like Eva Marcel is a colorist using the word nappy head to describe her cast members on season 12, episode two, and also coming after none other than, you know, Portia Williams' best friend, Shamia, you know, coming after her and calling her black, but not with the A, but with the Q and comparing her to the group. You know what I mean? So people are just like, you know what, Eva, we gave you a pass last season. You're not getting a pass this season. So what do you guys think about that situation? I was like, mm, mm, mm. Eva's out here making enemies like you wouldn't believe. And it's so crazy because how is Eva going to be going to work at this nation when she's out here talking all this mess about one of her co-workers and that's Portia Williams and you know the brat is feeling a certain type of way about Eva Marcel like you know that's shady the brat was like yo you sat up here in my face and you talked to me you didn't say anything else so you know she is creating turmoil on both of her jobs just because of her statements and the things that she do say the problem is that Eva don't own it and she don't stand in it and she's not really sorry because she don't really feel like she does anything wrong too as well when you especially when you call her out on her BS. So check this out. Let's listen to Portia and none other than a brat talk about Eva Marcel. Kenya's party. I asked her, hey, why are you bringing kids? She told me why. True has my fashion. I then told Kenya, dang, I thought she was going to bring kids. This is why she said she didn't bring them. Very simple. Then it turned into Cynthia telling her that Kenya kind of felt some type of way about her reasoning and not why she wanted to bring her kids. Oh, wow. And then she went in on Kenya, which was really extreme. And then what was even more extreme was she went, like, real deep on me. I thought y'all were cool. I did, too. No, I did, too. A friend would not go right. in like that. I right. just thought she went uh. too hard. It, that, and there was an that was, was a lot. Was a lot. It was a lot. And then earlier in the episode, she called all of us nappy headed. Like, early. And then she said like, something what? about PJ. That I have a problem. Yes. I have a problem saying Dennis with a bow on and all that. Like, I, oh my God. Like, this is horrible because me, I feel like I'm in the middle. Yeah. Like, I'm going to ride for Portia regardless. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But we work with Eva in the mornings on, on the radio show. So I feel like oh. I, I kind of, nobody mentioned it. I didn't see yeah. those two parts of the show i saw some of the show because i was moving around this but i am highly like offended like i sat this morning with her we talked and kikied and no she didn't say anything like girl let me just explain to you what's going on maybe she thought i saw it but like i'm offended and i think it's like we all are supposed to be like a family you know normally we move past stuff on in housewives right mm -hmm. so listen stay tuned because you, this thing gets bigger and bigger than did that did you see that yesterday for the first time mm -mm -mm. so it seems like None other than Eva Marcel, you know, she don't be going around with honey. She be going around with vinegar and she be throwing vinegar around and people are like, mm, we don't like that smell of you. So what do you guys think about Eva Marcel and her comments? Do you think Eva Marcel is a colorist? Do you think that she does not deserve to be on Real Housewives of Atlanta? Because that's what people out here saying. Portia done posted to Instagram basically saying that she is upset. She feel a certain type of way that Eva Marcel was talking about her C-section. And she said, you know, she's a real mom. And just because she had a C-section doesn't mean that she, that she's not a natural mom and she didn't give natural birth. And she said, what are you talking about, nappy heads? Who are you calling nappy head? Like, yo... This is a crazy situation. So how do you feel about Eva? It's just that Eva don't stand in it and she don't own it. I think Eva needs to be educated on the things that she should say and what she shouldn't say, especially if she's on a national platform and she's actually disrespecting African-American, black women, more foundational black people with lineage of black. 
you know, like, come on, you can't be doing all that. You're doing too much and you're getting paid really good and you're getting the good bucks. And, you know, you need to be respectful to black people that are supporting you and watching this show because you not only did not diss just, you know, um, Portia and Kenya Moore, you diss black people that wear their hair natural and you also discourage some women that do wear their hair natural or wanted to wear their hair natural because they think that they're going to be judged and be called nappy head or whatever the case may be. It's supposed to be empowerment. You know, you can have beef with the ladies on the cast, but don't disrespect a culture. Don't disrespect that lineage with calling them nappy heads. Like, that is just so disrespectful. And we're trying to move away from that because at one point in time, you know, Black people, African Americans, foundational black people were not able to even go to church unless their hair was permed and straight. And that's why the perm came on. People were straightening their hair, burning their edges, burning their scalps with grease and the straightening comb and the whole nine yards with that and putting that lye and that perm and that chemical in their hair. Even if you didn't mean it that way, Eva, it came out that way. Like you are so like disgusted about people with nappy hair and talk about nappy hair as a bad thing. Like, you know, and a lot of people are also saying that the reason why Eva Marcel daughter has locks is because she's afraid to do her hair because she doesn't like nappy hair. I don't know where that came from, but that has been posted all over Twitter and people or roasting Eva Marcel out here on these internet streets. You guys tell me what you think about the situation and does Eva Marcel owe the public an apology? And should she continue to be on the show if she's going to be saying probl problematic things towards black people, African Americans, foundational blacks? Peace and my one love.